Hello, everyone. Hi, I haven't gone live here on Facebook in a while. So I wanted to say hello, and I have um, working on some really great things and wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about, um, first of all, this Tuesday outfit. I don't play when I go to work. But anyways, um, I wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, failure and what has not worked for me about overcoming failure and what has worked for me. So hopefully I can add a lot of value um, with you here in the next couple of minutes. But um, so co like coping with a huge failure, especially when it comes to starting our businesses or starting um, being consistent, consistent with our business or consistent with a particular behavior that we're trying to do. Um, it's a, you know, pretty difficult thing to do, especially if we're working on our own. For example, I know when I started my coaching business, I um, was just really motivated by helping people. I was really motivated because I had come so far, you know, like a lot of people here, especially here on Facebook, have known me for a really long time, a lot of us. And I, I knew that I knew a couple things. I knew that my journey that I had been through was massive. Like I had come on the other side of, um, you know, some some very hurtful times in my life. And I'd gone through that like dark night of the soul and come out of it um, with a little more hope. And I knew that there was that was something that I could teach people. Um, so I had a big drive and that that's kind of what I call my gift. I had a big drive to give my gift, which was like what I had learned and to help people maybe not go through all of the stuff that I had been through. And this was uh, probably three or four years ago when I kind of had this revelation. And so I started coming up with, you know, these uh, different ideas and go, you can go Google, like how to start an online business or how to start a YouTube page or how to do this and this and this, and you'll find millions and millions of references. Um, there's no lack of information out there. But what, what happened with me is I came to the point where I kind of knew what I wanted in a way. I knew that I wanted to help people with, um, so they didn't hurt, like, again, didn't hurt as bad as I did and help them along the way and realize that there's actually a different outcome. And I got stuck. I got stuck in not doing these certain behaviors that I wanted to do, uh, whether it be like posting a podcast every week or, um, you know, uh, po posting a social media post every day or you know, whatever that behavior was in order to get my business started and going forward, I got stuck. And that's when I kind of found out what I'll talk about here um, in a few minutes is kind of the secret sauce that nobody's really talking about right now when it comes to behavior. And, but I just want to say, like, if you're there, if you're like a coach that is maybe a wannabe coach hasn't started, you know, haven't, hasn't started your business yet, but no, you wants to help, you want to help people, not quite sure how, or if you're a coach who was stuck like I was, or if you're just starting out. Um, I'm sure that you know, and that you've read at this point that consistency, like behaviors and consistency is probably the most underrated, but crucial aspect and skill that we can acquire. If you follow me, you know, and you see that I post at least once every day. And through that, like I've, I've had this past, past month was the, um, I exceeded my revenue goal, which is amazing. Um, you know, like crazy things have happened in my life because I was able to get past this, not get past, but kind of heal this part of me that was keeping me stuck. And I'll talk more about that in a second. But when we're talking about failure, what doesn't work absolutely does not work in my opinion is the rah rah reading the quotes on instagram push through fail failure failure is your opportunity to learn um you know i love tony robbins but in a way like tony robbins-esque um business motivation um if you've like 
you could be like me, like you've tried the affirmations, you've tried the gratitude practice, you've tried to talk to the universe to call in your clients and call in and money and all of this stuff. And for some reason, it's not working. So the shocking story about failure is that whether or not that you know it or not, and hopefully if you don't, this, this will kind of help you bring it in the open into the light is if we've had significant to us, significant experiences throughout our life with failure, for example, then what it does is it tends to hold us back in present day with behaviors that we want to do. So for example, for me, um, I realized that my education, my two degrees, including a master's degree and like hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in student debt was in essence, a big, massive failure in my life because it was expected for me to do. And I did, and I succeeded, but it didn't make me feel as fulfilled as it was supposed to. So what happened is I hit a wall in my career. I hit a wall in my personal life because I was doing all of these things like school, for example, and it really set me up to fail. And so through time, here I am trying to create this massive movement, um, this massive healing opportunity for other people, and I'm getting stuck on little things. And what I realize is all of the pressure that I'm putting on myself is connected to things that have happened to me in the past, like failure, for example. This could also be like perfectionism, which is a, a masterclass that I'm doing actually tomorrow if you'd like to join. I put the link in there as well. This could be, um, uh, you know, making it hard to actually mark, like do sales and marketing when, it, when again, it, you know, like it's not so, so hard, like there are ways that we can do it, but basically this massive pressure that we put on ourselves is basic is our way internally of protecting ourselves from more pain, but it's so antithetical because it hurts not being able to serve. It hurts not being able to get clients that you want to start your business that you feel called to. So if you've tried all of these same things that I've tried, I just want you to know that because you're stuck, it doesn't mean anything about you. You actually make a lot of sense. There are these things that have happened to us in the past called emotional traumas that hold in our body and they make it difficult to move forward because it, they are protecting us, right? So when you talk about that and when you talk about you making sense and it's not really all of, it's not you, this reason that you are stuck in your business or you're stuck starting, for example, or you think that, that you have to accumulate more, more certificates, more courses, more marketing practices, really that is just a part of you that is trying to protect you from more pain. So when you move forward and when you start to heal this part of you that is scared to do these certain small behavior opportunities over a consistent amount of time. So some people are like, oh, you know, I tried something for a month and that didn't work. Really what that is, is again, that's that, that, that little part of it in you saying like, like trying to prove what you're trying to do, to do right in a way. Does that make sense? So the opportunity really is if you want this like massively growing um, coaching business, if you want to help people at a, at a massive level, if you want to, um, to quit your soul crushing job and to serve and to make money and I don't know, wear gold on Tuesday, who the heck knows, right? Is the opportunity is to heal your internal trauma and to bring your nervous system back on board with what you are trying to do today. All of those those little hiccups that we're experiencing, the, the pressure, the perfectionism, the fear of failure, the fear of doing something like this, what I'm doing right now, which is going live on Instagram and being seen and being heard, or not Instagram, sorry, Facebook, being seen and being heard is all of that is really just based in fear from stuff from my past. But look, look at me. Look at like all the people around you. Look at the people that you follow and that you admire. 
what it is possible. It's more than possible. It's possible to live that life of your dreams, but all you need to do to get started, to get unstuck, to stay consistent, you know, and test something out for more than a month's time, maybe three months, I don't know, is to heal that internal environment that you have, bring your nervous system back on board so that you can be wired to receive money, to receive clients, and then live your dopest life. Y'all, this is the new thing. The old way, the old rah-rah, read a quote on Instagram is not working anymore. And we as kind of a healing community are doing really big things and I want you to be a part of that. I'd love for you to join me. I'm having, I'm hosting a masterclass tomorrow called the Crush Perfectionism Masterclass. The link is in the comments or in the description to sign up. It's free. Come and learn a lot more than what I just taught you so that we can do this. Bye, y'all.